And so we begin with the Lutheran Metropolitan Ministry, which is celebrating 55 years of service in Greater Cleveland, and in a very unique way, with an ex exhibition about innovations in affordable housing. Joining me right now, more on that are Marcella Brown, Vice President of Development and Communications, along with Megan Rich from the Museum of Contemporary Art, Cleveland. Good to have you both with us. Marcella on the right and uh, Megan on the left. Good to Hi. have you with us. Yeah. Marcella, let's begin with you. Tell me about this exhibition and how it ties to the programs of the Lutheran Metropolitan Ministry. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. LMM has been a provider of services in Greater Cleveland for 55 years now. Um, one of the major areas of our programming is housing and shelter. Many people know that we operate the largest shelter in the state of Ohio, which is the men's shelter right here on Lakeside Avenue. Mm -hmm. And so with that, we have been committed to serving single men, families as well, and most recently youth that are experiencing homelessness and housing insecurity. Mm -hmm. So the exhibit is really our efforts to demonstrate that the solution to homelessness is more affordable housing, and we have to come up with more creative ways to expedite the process of developing affordable mm -hmm. housing. And we're gonna talk about that. And you mentioned the exhibit going on at MOCA, Mm -hmm. the Museum of Contemporary Art in Cleveland in, in the uh, University Circle area. Uh, you're celebrating 55 years of art in Cleveland. Yeah. So what's this exhibit about and how does it tie into what Marcella was talking Absolutely. about? Absolutely. The exhibition is called A Place Meant and it looks yeah. at new designs in affordable housing. MOCA is a museum without a collection, so we design experiences that connect with the issues and ideas of today, and this one focuses on how we can innovate in affordable housing. Mm -hmm. So when you come to the museum, you will experience new materials and new designs that can give us a fresh uh, perspective on how we can innovate in this city and create uh, expressions that actually can be thought leading across our country. Mm -hmm. So there's an, a, a, an incredible array of, um, of objects and ideas on view, including soon a 3D printed house, portions of a 3D wow. printed house, which will be in the ground floor for people to experience and, and better understand. So we can use art to help people understand the things you're talking about with the Lutheran Metropolitan Ministry. How does that make you feel knowing that you've got this yeah. partnership and, and are there others involved? Absolutely. So, you know, art is an amazing mm. medium to share new ways of, of addressing long-standing problems. Um, we're mm -hmm. excited to partner with MOCA on this exhibit because we think by putting this information in the context of art in a museum, it will really help people to better understand yeah. and push forward what we're trying to accomplish, which is more affordable housing in Cleveland. Megan, what is it about art mm -hmm. that uh, helps us unpack these, uh, these uh, 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 complex social issues? Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. interestingly, art is a really universal language, actually. Actually, we understand the, the elements of art and visual art, um, performance art in ways that um, sometimes we don't recognize. But importantly, also artists are creative problem solvers in our communities. And so MOCA is really committed to reminding us that bringing artists to the table mm -hmm. to problem solve some of our hardest issues can actually open us up to introduce us to new possibilities and connect us to new ideas that we may not have ever come up with if we stayed closed in the rooms with just the people who are sort of the experts uh, in the field. So part of this effort is just to remind people that there are so many possibilities that exist in this, in this idea and Lutheran Metropolitan Ministry is leading the charge on bringing them to Cleveland, and so partnership is amazing. You've got a big celebra anniversary celebration coming up on September the 5th. We've yes. got about a minute remaining. Tell me about that and how it ties in. Sure thing. So with both LMM and MOCA celebrating 55 years of service and opportunities in Cleveland, we wanted to partner on something unique and an experience to really celebrate the exhibit, but also the mission and programs of LMM. And so on September 5th, people will be able Able to come out. They'll have a private behind the scenes tour of the exhibit. They'll learn more about our commitment to affordable yeah. housing and other services in Cleveland and hear from the artist designer, um, Sison Bondant, who created the exhibit as well. It is, and you would say it's all a good thing. It's all a good thing. I Absolutely. Please come on over. Okay. We're going to talk a little bit about where people can find more information on everything we're talking about. To give, yeah. give, give you a little plug here. The Luther, Petro, uh, 
the Lutheran Metropolitan Ministry celebrating 55 years. Thursday, it's September the 5th, starts at 5 o'clock in the afternoon and goes until 9 o'clock in the evening. It will be at the Museum of Contemporary Art. You cannot miss the Museum of Contemporary Art at the corner of Euclid Avenue and Mayfield. It's a beautiful, beautiful, big black box, shining structure. That's right. It is artistic mm -hmm. in every, every way. Absolutely. So many thanks for being on the broadcast. Marcella Brown of, uh, of uh, Development uh, uh, and Communications with Lutheran Metropolitan Ministry and Megan Rick who's the coal executive director at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Cleveland. Thanks for being on the broadcast. We wish you well. Thank you. A little bit about art. We all need that in our lives and helping people along the way. Coming up on We the People, how a new organization is visioning a community where everyone who needs eyeglasses has a pair of eyeglasses regardless of their finances. I see, I see. But first, celebrating art, we'll preview Cleveland Public Theater's Pandemonium Party and what a party it always is. Back in just a moment. <laughs>